Hey guys, this is Comic Uno, and today I'm doing a review for International Iron Man issue 6. And before I start talking about this issue, just want to give you guys a couple updates. Of course, I have Comic Uno episode 159, and that's show a review all the comics I've read this week in one show, and exclusive comics for that show are in the description below. But let's start talking about International Iron Man issue 6. And uh, I will say, I, I haven't dropped this series because I just want to finish it up. It was almost done. But I felt like, you know, I liked a lot of the side characters in this series. Like, I liked, um, I think her name was Cassandra. Like, I liked her appearances, even though I was a little let down on, on the ending of her story. And I also wanted to figure out, like, what is up with Tony's parents? And let's see if we get answers here uh, and see if it's worth still picking up this series. A uh, beautiful cover here, really great artwork. I like that it's more watercolor based, really enjoyed that. And uh, artwork for the interior is really good too. I like that's kind of darker and it fits for the tone of International Iron Man but you get to see facial expressions really well uh, and it kind of feels like a spy type tone here uh, so I liked it I really enjoyed the artwork overall but let's see what's going on with the story so with this issue we start out with this rocker chick you don't really know who she is but she's just rocking out and this girl comes up to her and says I'm from S.H.I.E.L.D. and we want you to just go on tour and work, you know, work for us pretty much. Well, all you have to do is like kind of trade stuff in, you know, you're working for us, but you're living your dream. Do you want to do that? And she's like, yeah, sure, whatever. And she ends up doing it and she meets with, with this guy who, uh, you know, is uh, one of the transfer um, spies to hand over this this thing and then we find out our main character is being tracked by somebody and both these spies are put into a situation and then you have the cliffhanger of finding out well these people are more important than you think because they are Tony Stark's parents and I will say you know I was never that excited for the idea of Tony having different parents I never really needed that story but Brian Michael Bendis made me interested, and I really like the way he told this story. I do think he's kind of the master of dialogue in a lot of ways for comics. Always makes even a, a conversation about, like, I don't know, Lint interesting. Uh, definitely that's the, the highlight and the best part of his writing is those conversations. And International Iron Man, especially here, learning about Tony's mother through these, like, conversations that don't really seem important and then builds up to be really important uh, was the best part of this issue. Um, I, I love kind of the back and forth of her saying, oh, well, you know, I'm not really into you. I, I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, I was close to my dad. Like these small little details that we get um, throughout the issue to just get her personality that is kind of similar to Tony and, uh, and to learn more about her. Uh, really enjoyed that. Even the little Beatles references because I've seen like just on Facebook and, and Twitter and Brian Michael Bendis' social media that he really likes the Beatles and I'm a huge fan of the Beatles so just see some of those little references throughout love that just like kind of a small detail but yeah it, I like that they isolate the story and not and doesn't tell you right away that yeah this is Tony Stark's parents and made us care about these characters before we knew that it was Tony's parents. I just really like the style of storytelling here. And uh, overall, actually gave International Iron Man issue six my pick of the week. I really enjoyed the storytelling, really liked the artwork, and I was surprised. You know, a story that I wasn't really looking forward to or interested in actually got me interested with this one issue and, and hopefully continue to get interested as the, as the series goes on and and we see the ending of International Iron Man. So I was really surprised with this. This is my pick of the week, International Iron Man issue 6. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. I gave it 4.5 stars. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter. Don't forget to like my Facebook page. Also, scripture below, there are links for my comic book, Like Father, Like Daughter. And don't forget to like the Facebook page of Like Father, Like Daughter. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.